Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, please subscribe. Yes, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, it's a beautiful Monday morning, 16th of August 2021, and I'm coming your way with something funny, something serious, and something beautiful. So, today is a Monday and it's a working day. So, I'm in school right now. My class is just over there. And guess what? Part of the school is on break, others are in school. Why? Because Ghana has changed the educational system. Now, we used to, you know, from basic one to basic nine, we used to attend school the same time and vacate or go on break on the same time. But this time it has changed. Uh, from basic one to basic six, have three terms, term one, term two, term three. And then from basic seven to nine, are now having semesters, so two semesters. So now there is this uh, disconnection where the basic level will be in school whilst um, the junior high school will be out of school or vice versa. So right now as I'm speaking, in Ghana, basic one to six are on break. Basic seven to eight are in school. You know what I'm saying? So it has really, you know, it's, we are trying to adapt to that change. So if you realize, the school is pretty quiet, um, the, all the classrooms are closed because there are no kids over there. Only the junior high school are in school or the students are in school right now. So this is what happened today, beautiful Monday like I said earlier on because it's, it's, it's mind blowing to read certain things about yourself. Yeah, so today I went to one of the classrooms and then we had a chit chat and before I left I told them, hey, uh, I want you to write something about your head teacher. If you don't know, you don't know I'm the head teacher of the school that I work. Uh, so I'm the principal. Maybe in your school, in your country, you might call it a principal. So I'm a principal in an elementary or basic school, starting from age four to age, say, 15 or 14. All right, so let's go. So today I went to the class. I was like, can you guys write something about me? Just write anything you want just anything don't be shy just go ahead but don't write your name on it just go ahead and write something about me your head teacher or your teacher and <laughs> this is what i had i had a, i mean i have a couple of papers here and it's so beautiful some of them are so beautiful so i decided to share with you what my students think about me so i'm going to read the first one i just hand picked it i didn't i just randomly picked it so i'm going to read what she said or he said he's a kind of person who really likes students who study hard he is very funny kind and smiles a lot among all of the teachers he is the one i really like wow he doesn't like complaining too much he encourages students to learn hard and become like him one day <laughs> Indeed, he is a very helpful teacher. He has done many things for the school. People were bringing books, bags, and a construction of a library, all because of his hard work and his aim to help the students learn. Mm, it's getting interesting. One thing I dislike about him is that he is serious to keen. He doesn't know anybody. <laughs> Okay, I get what he's trying to what he or she is trying to say. I think when that those times that we used to beat them, okay, now the education system says we shouldn't beat them. Those times we used to beat them if you if you do anything wrong. Even if you are my friend, you're my close friend, I will still beat you. So that is what this person was trying to say that he I don't care whether you are my friend or not, I will still have to punish you. I like that. When he is teaching, he tells us anything he has experienced and anywhere outside the country he has visited which makes learning interesting wow so it means when i share my travel experiences it motivates them to want to learn that's good and he even brings some some of the white people when he's returning from the country he went to sorry she had to use the word white uh, i bring a lot of diasporas to my school you've seen it yourself you can go back to some of my videos and so they think um, anybody who is a foreigner is a white person 
So I think um, it dawns on me to go back to the classroom and, you know, give them a little education on calling diasporas white. Maybe I, I, I would have to do that. What do you think about that? Put it up as a comment and let's see. He is indeed helping our school. Now we have a library, so we are praying to have a science lab. A science lab. And I know God will bless him. Oh, God bless you too. Bless you too. So let me put it here and read the next person. The name of my headmaster is Echo Simpson. He is 35 years of age. He knows my age. He teach at Afringwadi. I'm reading exactly what they, what, they have, what they've written here. I might correct some of them, but sometimes I just want to leave it because it's kind of like, it's okay. They are learning. They are kids. They are learning. So, um, he is fair in complexion. He has a big head. <laughs> he don't like sitting okay he doesn't like sitting in school every day he goes out for other job and also he care for the school and he like playing with the student our headmaster likes traveling to another country to achieve something to support his job my headmaster what is it he also likes going to tour tourism okay going to tour tourism sites i think that's what you want to say he likes visiting his friends. My head teacher is a cool guy. He has one car and a laptop <laughs> for searching. Okay, research. He's kind, but he's bad. Oh, and he likes shouting with his students. I don't get what he's trying to say. He also gives his students advice to learn and pass their examination. He likes changing girls. What is wrong with this? <laughs> See, he said he he likes changing girls. Honestly, I don't know what this guy is talking about. He likes changing girls. While he he like going to sports and he like banku and pepe. <laughs> wow, I have to go and look for this guy. I like girls. Well, okay, there's another one here. So these, these are, you know, what my students think about me. And I would like to read all of them, honestly, because I love the idea. Um, the, two, the two things I like from my head teacher and it attracts me is, he's, he is he is the head teacher in my school. He, is, he, he does everything as, as a head teacher. He makes sure that every teacher is is at is at school every day. He likes children and he also play with them. Sometimes when we are in the class, which is form three, he tell us anything about him and how he became at this day. Okay, how I got to this day as a head teacher, or as me. He loved to do something for the school. He interviewed the school and posted. On the internet and they bring support to the school he has brought library in the school some days come to school with white men okay this guy is also talking about white uh, there's an education that we all have to do okay so he comes to, to school with white men and show us how their life is that is what I really like for my hair teacher and attract me I didn't say that he's saying it so she's saying it I don't know okay let me see what this guy is also saying um the name of my head teacher is echo he comes from Cape Coast but stays at Afringwa he's a very beautiful master <laughs> I'm a beautiful master yes it's a very beautiful master he teach he teaches us very well he supports the teacher, student, and other people. Some people say that the master is a wicked man. Please, it is not. He it he wrote. Please, it is not a wicked. I think he want to say he's not. A, so please, he's not a wicked man. It's a good master. So people think I'm wicked. Well, I don't know. They will be happy seeing you. After so many years, especially 
will care well. He promotes the teacher. He shows love and peace to teachers and students. He's, he married he he married two girls in Cape Coast. Oh, I'm a polygamist here. Yeah? Those guys said I've married two women in Cape Coast. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, this is interesting. Let me let me read this one. Let me read this one. This one. This one says, "My headmaster." No, this one says, "The name of my headmaster is Mr. Cole Simpson, who come from Cape Coast, but stay at Afringwa." The occupation he did is teaching. Okay, he's trying to. Um, and most of the students like his teaching very well. As, as for me, I would say Mr. Echo Simpson is the most kindness, truthful, humbleness, and faithful and helpful teacher in my school because I have seen many, many teachers, they have been teaching in this school while they are teaching. They did not bring, they did not bring and do, they did not bring and develop in this school apart from him. Wow, this shows that people really watch what we are doing, okay? Um, um, I was I was amazed and I'm still amazed at some of the things that these kids are writing about me and it is giving me like the the I don't know what to say but it's 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 motivating me you know yeah firstly he he has helped the school to get JHS1 JHS2 JHS3 <laughs> okay previously when I came here the school was only from basic one to basic six. And then if you want to continue, you have to go to a far place, a school in a far place. So this brother or this person is saying, I helped the school acquire the junior high school or the junior section, junior high school section. So I've done well, whatever. If the school will continue, it is him. If the school become dull, it is him. <laughs> So every day he continues he continues the school to become neat and the student to he help them to learn very very well to pass their exams. Secondly, but he wrote secondary. <laughs> Secondly, he he has helped the school to get a brand new library shop. Oh library shop. Okay, he called it library shop. Very soon, the library will be full of reading books, exercise books, and any other books. Well, so this brother is expecting all these books. If you are watching and you want to support these brothers, if you want to support the school with library books and all that, we'll be very glad. So his last statement, thirdly, he made sure that the school is painted because of what he did. Most of the people get green eye monster on him. Green eye monster. What is that? And into bracket he wrote jealousy. I don't know if you can see. He said, because of what I've been doing in the school, supporting and helping develop the school, most people get green eye monster on him. Wow. And he put into bracket jealousy. So people are jealous of me just developing my school. Beautiful. One day, one day. And so hey, let's let's go to this one. The name of my head teacher is Echo Simpson. He is very good and kind. He loves people and he's very gen he's very he's a very gentle man. He is fair in complexion and he loves playing with his children. And he loves chilling at the spot. <laughs> You know, when they say chilling at this, but what they're trying to say is that sometimes when we close from work, I go to the community, I sit at the pub, or there's a little kiosk where I sit and I take some beer or club or something. So they see me. That's why they say I like chilling at the spot. So that is a spot. Okay. When it is holiday, he likes going to tourist sites. Also, he's very active in school competition and he's hard working. Thank you very much, one of my students. Okay. 
Let me see. Let me quickly go through. Uh, Mr. Kosunsu is my teacher at Afringwa. Basically, he's half good and half bad. Wow. <laughs> he likes insulting the students and also do not stay at school for a long time. Ah, I don't insult them. Sometimes when I ask them to do something and I'm expecting them to do it and they then do it and I get mad, I'm like, hey, I know, blah, 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 I'll be shouting. So he thinks I'm bad because I shout at them. Okay. He's, he likes roaming about in the school compound. So do you want me to sit at the office? Do you want me to sit? I have to supervise, move around, do this. Oh, this guy is crazy. But I like it. I mean, he's being frank with me, so I have to learn from that. Let me say this, Mr. Echo have helped, this is what he is written, Mr. Echo have helped the school very much by using social media. Mr. Echo like going to town with his car because he likes women and he also go to town for work. This guy is crazy. Really? And then he, and then he added this. One thing I like about him is that he likes telling everything he wants to say plain plain. He likes telling everything he wants to say plain plain without being shy. Okay, so he says that I say things without being shy. Like I say things the way it is. So he says that I say things plain plain without being scared. I say things the way it is. Okay, thank you. Mr. Echo have helped some of the poor students in the school by giving them school bags book and uniform that's so touchy so he started that i was a bad person i like women i don't stay in school i roam about the school compound and now he ended by saying echo mr echo have helped some of the poor students in my school by giving them school bags and all that thank you very much okay, let me take i'm gonna there are a lot of them, but I'm going to take the last one and then we end it. And then this one says, The headmaster in Afringwa DA Basic School is a person who is the overseer in the school and also make sure that what is going on in the school is good or acceptable. He is a person who doesn't stay in school. Oh, shit. Who doesn't stay in school. Sometimes he goes to office for meeting about what is going on in the school. Beautiful. So if I don't stay in the school, I'm at the office. <laughs> okay. Um, he also likes going out with friends and visiting places of interest. This is not just for entertainment, but for education and learning new things. Thank you. I travel to learn new things. He is the person who sometimes helps some of the children in the school in need of uniforms, school books, and other things which will improve the education. This one makes me want to cry, you know. Sometimes he took pictures of the school and what is going on in school to Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, which make people come to the school, especially white people, again. Okay, white people, which enables them to give us things like school bags, pens, pencils, and also sometimes took pictures of them. Because of his position, he does not teach any subject in the school. You know, if I have read a few of them, and it's so amazing that some of these students that walk around you, hang around with you, take notice of certain things that we do here so this 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 has really opened my eye to a lot of things that even if if these kids can realize and acknowledge and observe what is going on with me in the school and whatever i do then i think we all have a lot to do and be careful about our our, our movement you know what i'm saying so because some of them were like i go out to chill i go out to have fun Yes, I just have to go and have fun, but maybe we shouldn't do it in front of them. Uh, thank you very much for checking me out. I just wanted you to know on a beautiful Monday morning when I asked my kids to write me, uh, write anything, how they see me. Right, so I was glad, you know, reading out to you what my student think about me. Put it up as a comment. What do you know about me?
just write one sentence, just a single sentence about echo. I mean, be, be, be honest. I mean, you've been watching my videos for some time now. So put up a comment. Be honest with me. Just put it up. And I'm going to be happy reading it. So thank you very much for checking me out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Support my YouTube channel on Patreon. And if you want to support it one time, there is a PayPal link. You can just forward it. And I'll be very glad to receive your support. And then for the library as well. Thank